recharge. Breukelen. Super busy. Everybody is going on their holiday. As you can see. There are some 50 kilowatt chargers on the other side of the gas station. And they are all in use by a Leaf and the MG. Charging speed dropped already. Yeah. Casual Jaguar throttle to 80 kilowatts. Yeah, we're not gonna wait here for a full charge, but just a little bit. Some last juice pass energy. What a party week it has been with the Jaguar I-Pace, the HSE version with the lovely Pano roof, the Meridian surround and cooled seats and everything that I will enable to survive in the heat because there is a heat wave going on in the Netherlands. Oh, sorry. I don't know if this makes too much noise, that would be annoying. But is it just to give you a general idea of the comfort in the car? Yes, so cold air is coming from the seat now. I'm at the fast charger. Shell recharge powered by Allego. It's the last day of the juice pass super deal 30 euros for a month of unlimited charging in july it was a very very adventurous month with many fast charging sessions i will have to do a count on how many in total i'm not too sure but uh, countless times i can tell you in six or seven countries if i'm not mistaken from Berlin to Monaco and the mountains of France. You can hear the cooling. I think it's quite fanatic. And what is the charging speed? We still get 81 kilowatts. It started out a bit slow, sorry. I'll show you the car from the outside. It's quite pretty to look at. So probably there's too much wind noise. And I'll take it back inside. So yeah, what can I say? It's two years. Well, almost, after they launched the IPACE in the Netherlands, where a couple thousand were sold in 2018 alone. And two years later, yeah, it is just very, very comfortable. Oh no. It is just very comfortable and everything works as you would hope it would. I didn't encounter any problems at a fast charger anymore. The screen blacked out for, you know, 10 seconds maybe in thousands of kilometers, but then booted up by itself anyway. It was just a software lag because the computer is still a bit underpowered for the whole system. But it runs Android Auto and Apple CarPlay just fine, which is very nice to use. And uh, I had many rental cars in the past where I couldn't use it. So the full experience right now has been perfect. All week I've been running CarPlay and it even followed me into tunnels. I never had Waze follow me into tunnels before. It was always, had no clue what I was doing. So very luxurious experience. And I mean this interior up until all the details with the Jaguar in your head people in the back being very comfortable the backup camera is high definition and has less lag than it used to have 
think we can even use it right now. This has the full 3D parking system, which is super nice to have. You have just so many cameras, these side cameras, the front camera, super useful. And next to the camera, you also have indications over there, distance wise. So it is really easy to, um, to park that way and it's quite a big car so you really want these cameras to actually see something because that window in the back is pretty small so yeah I am um, I'm really convinced that this car will stand the test of time because it's now two years after the introduction and uh, everything got more stable fast charging on 80 kilowatts I mean, it's nothing very fancy, but it's still very nice to find a fast charger that actually supports over 50 kilowatts. Um, because in half an hour you can get enough juice in to at least make it to the next charger or probably to your next destination. And if you start the day with a full charge, because you've been slow charging when sleeping, yeah, you can do way over 300 kilometers on the first charge, especially depending on the speed. So in France, we've been enjoying the local roads with my dad. I was going 80 kilometers per hour, just as is allowed in France. And you can easily get 400 kilometers. And then this is the HSE spec version with 22 inch wheels. So yeah, you can't get higher consumption in the Jaguar I-Pace than this version. And still it was doing okay. Imagine if you want to put 18 inch summer wheels on to get better consumption. You probably squeeze another uh, 30, 40 kilometers out of it if you take the local road. So yeah, it has been super enjoyable. And uh, I thank Jaguar Netherlands for this uh, test ride. And this is the last time probably that I have been driving the old model soon hopefully september october the new model will come that has three phase support that has a new infotainment system that should be even more powerful than this one even though this one is pretty cool already it has all the settings that you want if we look at my history we can see oh this is a small ride hey this is funny why does it say miles here don't know uh, why this is happening. It's uh, interesting. I, I think if I start the car, it will actually change to kilometers. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about my experience and I will do a long written report on the whole trip somewhere in August. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, impressed again. The comfort level is just enormous. The auto, this one uh, has the suspension system that is fully automatic. So when you stop to park, the car lowers itself so you can get out more easily. And then it goes up for the ride. Re really, I would like to have that low uh, mode for driving also as I had in a recent uh, test drive with another vehicle that I will tell you more about soon. Anyway, it has been super enjoyable. 3000 kilometers nearly in eight, nine days. Trouble free, easy going, very thankful. Looking forward to the next drive.